Hey gang, the success coach here with MaximumChange.com. Wanted to spend a few minutes talking to you about some of the things that I do with clients on a regular basis. One of those things is to help them understand who their target audience is, who their ideal customer is. If you don't know who your ideal customer is, it's very difficult for you to attract them. In fact, if you don't know who your ideal customer is, you might be trying to sell to the wrong customer base. So it's really good to identify who your ideal customer is and to focus on them. So what we like to do is we like to um, look at uh, the types of areas that maybe uh, these people hang out. You know, what is their leisure activities? How old are they? Um, maybe what kind of education they have? Do they have any interests, hobbies? What do they do? Where do they hang out? Are they married? Are they single? Uh, what you know, what, where are they in the stages of life? Are they uh, early, uh, you know, are they in their 20s or are they in, in the end of life stage? Where are they? What is their area uh, that they hang out? Uh, are they female or male? So we need to understand that. Are they children? Are they adults? Where, what do we, what is the ideal customer for you? And also we like to look at their education, education level. Are they graduates of high school or are they college graduates? Are they post graduate? Uh, do they have a terminal degree like a doctorate? Who are they? What do they do? Where do they hang out? We need to know these things because what they do is they help us to build our niche. So, uh, you know, we look at their lifestyle, their work, their background, their education, their interests, their leisure preferences, those type of things. We need to know who they are and where they hang out, what they do. So maybe your, your customer, your ideal customer uh, is into home improvement, or maybe they like hobbies like um, crafts. Maybe they hang out on Pinterest. Maybe they watch home and garden television. Maybe they go hang out the hardware store. Maybe they go to the shopping mall. Maybe they shop at a discount outlet as opposed to a grocery store. Who is your ideal customer and where they hang out? Do they hang out on social media? And if so, where do they typically, where do you typically find them? Are they a Twitter based account or are they uh, Facebook or are they a Tumblr? Where do you find these individuals? Maybe they only watch YouTube videos. You have to have a keen understanding of where your target audience is, what their interests are so that you can effectively focus them toward them and get them interested and attract them toward your service. So I'm a business coach. Do you think that I would go and look for someone who is interested in getting coaching on going to school? The answer is maybe, but probably not. What I'm looking for, my target audience, are entrepreneurs, business owners, and high profile individuals. They're usually businesses that are in startup phase or maybe they've been running for a few years and they're just trying to figure out how to go to the next level. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to go from a couple thousand dollars a month to six figures in the next year. And so what we do is we look at strategies, we look at things like how they're running their business, uh, do they know who their target audience is? Do they even have a niche? And we have to know who our target audience is to know our niche and vice versa. So they're married to one another. These are the types of things that I work with my clients on a regular basis, helping them to better understand their business so that they can more effectively attract the best type of customer that's going to pay money for what they offer. What is the value? What, what kind of value are we adding what are we giving them for the money they provide us? Are we giving them any type of value, some value that they couldn't get somewhere else? These are all key to creating a powerful six, seven, or eight figure income organization. And so the other thing that we do is we look at mindset. If you don't believe that you can be a six, seven, or eight figure or more, um, then how are you going to achieve that? So let's go back to the basics. Who is your customer? Where do they hang out? What do they think? What do they feel? What excites them? Do they binge on Netflix or do they binge on books? Who are they? Are they learners or are, do they like to play? Do they like to go surfing? Do they like to fly? 
we have to know who your target audience is, their demographic, how old they are, how young they are, are they male, are they female, who are they? When you start to understand your customer better, you're able to better meet their needs. So if you're interested in digging deeper into some of these issues, now I realize this is a very simple discussion we're having here, but we go much deeper than that. We have to fully understand the business from the very depths to the very basics, all the way up to the, the nuances that create the actual, um, the actual company that you present. So if you're looking to build your empire, if you're looking to take your business to the next level, maybe you want it to be a six, seven, or eight figure business. If you're interested in that, why don't you go to my website, MaximumChange.com, and set up a free consultation. I won't charge you for it. It'll be about 30 minutes. You'll get on my calendar. We'll get to know each other for a few minutes. We'll see if we're right for each other. If I can help you, I would love to help you. If you're interested in building your empire, go to my website today, MaximumChange.com, and make a commitment to grow your business to the next level. I'm the Success Coach with Maximum Change. I hope you have a great day.